with you is Mark Manata, and today super excited to be working with Archiact and their new game Evasion. Really cool co-op multiplayer game that is going to be launching soon. I don't know if we have an exact date at the time of this recording, but uh, look for it on Steam and all those other platforms. Spring 2018. Spring 2018. All right, so coming soon. 2018 is not really not that far away. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. So the way we like to start these interviews out is kind of how did you get into VR and kind of what are the projects you've worked on that kind of led you up to this point? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I mean, I've been making games for about 13 years. I um, uh, started with PC and console games. Um, I've done uh, like Mech, uh, Mech Warrior Online for PC <laughs> and uh, did uh, a bit of work on Duke Nukem Forever, um, nice. the uh, <laughs> multiplayer for it, not not the 14 years here. <laughs> um, and I uh, did a bit of work on uh, the Metro Metroid 3DS uh, awesome. recently. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I was looking for something new. Um, VR was super exciting, so I joined these guys uh, about a year and a half ago. Nice. And yeah, it's it's a great experience. VR is, is awesome. I, I worked with Disney for a while producing nice. games, and I um, was working on mobile stuff, and then I had a chance to try cardboard, <laughs> and it really blew my mind. I was sitting in my bedroom just holding my phone up to my face, and I couldn't believe the emotions that I was experiencing. So I've been with Archiact about two years. I started with them developing mobile mobile products, mobile games for Gear VR and for Cardboard. And then um, once we started doing arcade experiences and we were doing multiplayer, that's when it got really exciting. <laughs> and we um, we built a team to work on multiplayer um, on UE4 and just make really high quality action experiences. And I couldn't, I was so excited to jump on that. That's so cool. I mean, for a lot of people, Cardboard is their first experience yeah. and it really blows people's mind. When, when you and then we put them in a vibe and we just totally blow their minds. <laughs> that's, sure. that's our goal. We like to blow yeah, everyone's Yeah, exactly. Mind. I mean, the Oculus in there in the background, yeah, one of those devices, really, really awesome. So let's talk a little bit more about Ovation. Can you guys describe the premise, any story type of details that you're kind of planning as you're building this game? So I'll give a yeah. basic summary and then I'll let Ian go sure. into the real details. Yeah. So Evasion is multiplayer co-op uh, bullet hell game. It's a FPS game. It's really intense action and it's designed for a squad to go in there and just get rained on by bullet <laughs> fire and you're going to have to help each other and survive together. So we, um, we're really uh, excited by multiplayer. We have full body Ikinema based avatars. And so you and your friends, you can see each other in the game, and you're just out there trying to destroy everything. It's built in Unreal 4. It's designed for the highest quality graphics, animation, and we're working with Intel on really making the coolest destruction physics. <laughs> now, and it really does look awesome. Uh, basically, the gameplay I got to try was you, we, were, we were in a squad, um, and I mean, a bunch of enemies are coming at you. You've got rocks destroying everywhere, and you got to hide behind all these different things. Really, really cool. Um, and so, I guess development-wise, how long would it take you, I guess, to get all of those like small details like really nailed down? How long does that take for you guys to like develop? Uh, I mean, we've been working on the game for about a year now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in terms of the destruction, I mean, we kind of leaned into that a few months ago. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it, Unreal has some inherent tools that yeah. make it, you know, fairly easy for us to just uh, turn that dial. <laughs> um, but uh, the the coolest challenge that we had was really integrating that into the gameplay. Yeah. Um, making it so that that destruction is not just cosmetic. It's it's all about. Uh, you know, you're hiding behind that cover, but then the enemy destroys it, or the enemy's hiding behind the cover and then yeah. you destroy it. Um, we have like these kind of big rock columns that, um, uh, you know, get between you and the flying enemies, and so the crossfire is hitting them and everything is collapsing, and yeah. it's, it's really cool. Yeah. I just want that incredibly intense, impactful experience. Yeah, so, I mean, one thing I literally right before this I got to try to do. Um, and I think one of the things I was working with it was really that fast tempo. And this has the same thing except multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in, in kind of that game design process, I mean, I'm assuming you probably didn't start right away that it was going to be like this super fast tempo that would be your squad. So kind of how did it start and then evolve into kind of where it is right now? So actually, um, we started with um, another 
game called Drone Storm a long time ago, mm -hmm. and um, and then we decided to like that was just kind of like a three month project. And, it's mostly arcade focused for uh, for Asia. Yeah. Yeah. And then we decided, you know, there was something fun there, so we wanted to actually turn it into a full game. <laughs> um, and actually, at the time, we were inspired by Doom, um, <laughs> and uh, as well as Destiny, right? Like yeah, these, these yeah, very exactly. like fast-paced, super hardcore games. Uh, we really, really like the challenge, right? Yeah. Um, and so we decided to. At the time, we were calling it like chaotic, intense. We weren't quite, quite saying bullet hell yet. Um, but uh, as as those projectiles started flying at us, we we're like. You know, it'd be really cool if this was like bullet hell where it's like yeah. all these patterns and stuff, right? Um, Near Automata was a big inspiration <laughs> for yeah, those great. patterns <laughs> yeah. feeling that intensity. Yeah, so we just constantly iterated and um, just really leaned into the fun mechanics. Like, yeah. really found that core of um, just like uh, killing the enemy, grabbing that core, popping it in your gun, upgrading your weapon, um, just kind of that simple loop. Um, and, you know, deflecting the shots back at the enemies and everything. We just felt like that was really fun gameplay. Yeah. Um, and so we wanted to keep it fairly simple like that and just make sure that it was all about just that fun core combat. Awesome. So you mentioned arcades a little bit. So can, was the game kind of designed initially for the arcades or are you designed for the home consumer first? Or like, I guess where are you, or both even? Like, and how does, I guess, how does that design um, process differ when you're thinking about arcades versus, say, the home? But, Originally, the, the small project that I mentioned earlier was designed for arcades. Yeah. Um, and but when we decided to make it a bigger project, we were actually thinking more about um, home PC, you know, Vive on Steam and and, and the Rift and everything. Yeah. Um, but then the subject of arcades kept coming up, right? <laughs> and so we wanted to make sure that um, the game kind of fits both scenarios, right? Yeah. So um, you can you know it works great as you know playing missions in your home with your friends yeah. online. Um, but then we've also set it up so that um, the play sessions can be anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. Yeah. And so it's very scalable, right? So if yeah. we take it to arcades, we can say, okay, we'll make this a 10 minute experience or however long we want to make yeah. it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> is but, that yeah. kind of decided by the level or the number of enemies coming? Uh, it's, it's more so about the level and um, the number of, object of objectives that you have to complete. Yeah. Um, and, and like the, the type of mode that we do, right? So um, with the mission mode, um, the what you played was a demo of the mission mode, right? Um, and that takes you through basically one objective. Um, and so our missions that we'll release with the full game are a series of a bunch of objectives. And so if we wanted to um, say have that mode in an arcade, we would probably do you know one objective per bracket or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And we, I mean, there's so many incredible locations, mm -hmm. uh, location-based experiences that are coming out and uh, these awesome places where pl people can try VR for the very first yeah. time. And we want to just make something action-packed and awesome <laughs> that we can share in those locations. And then they'll go home and maybe buy, buy a headset yeah. and be like, I want to play this at home with my friends. And, and uh, we just really want to uh, give every user that yeah. experience. So. We do want to design for both, yeah. Yeah, I mean, VR has this content problem right now, so anything we sure. can keep adding to the ecosystem yeah. is really, really valuable. Absolutely. So you talked also about, about multiplayer. When when you were doing the design process, did it, I mean, obviously you decided arcade, so you obviously had multiplayer maybe in mind, yeah. but when you switch gears to like developing, do you go single player, like first make sure that's like super polished and then add the multiplayer on top of it because I mean obviously the multiplayer has some interesting mechanics as well like healing your healing your yeah. teammates yeah. Um, making sure that you have that, that same health circle so kind of where along that pipeline did a multiplayer kind of get introduced yeah so actually um, we've always we've always been multiplayer first yeah. um, that's kind of the main focus for evasion is um, really getting that teamwork and that cooperative yeah. play right and it's we just find that um, it's just so much more fun like, <laughs> Uh, at the office, we play four players, like you know, in the same room. Nice. All the time, <laughs> twice a day, yeah. we're always in there. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, we understand that um, uh, players will often want to play alone, or maybe they can't find players to play with. So uh, we always, we're always making sure that the single player experience is still super fun. Yeah. Um, like I, you know, I play at home, and I'm always <laughs> having a ton of fun just playing by myself, right? Yeah. So it's, and we're, we're going to be working with Intel to try and get the game into as many hands as possible. Awesome. So um, we really do want to create that experience of being able to play with your friends and we hope that people will all have enough access to the game. But if you don't have the friends who have the game, then we're online multiplayer is, is 
core yeah. of the game. Yeah. So you, I mean, yeah. So you, you get the option. So because yes. I know for a lot of consumers, at least now, hopefully this changes soon, is they they have a vibe, but their friends near them, even if they want to play with them, they can't. Yeah. So making sure, I guess, having both be really accessible is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So specifically about arcades, do you match arcade players with global global users, or do you try to keep the arcade people? To like within the so we itself. don't have um, arcade partnerships right now, sure. um, but that we're still pre-alpha, so we are working on those kinds of partnerships, yeah. and then we'll um, we'll do whatever is best for the players and then <laughs> whatever is, is uh, feasible for the arcades. Yeah. I'm just imagining because if you have a consistent flow through the arcade, you're probably always going to have users that can use for multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> Well, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, would be important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially challenge. matching someone in China with the U.S. I'm assuming yeah. you try to minimize the amount of data that goes through the yeah. internet. Yeah. But even still, there there are physics. <laughs> yeah, we'll be working on that for sure. Um, um, we have dedicated servers that we're ramping up, awesome. and yeah. Um, and and yeah, and we we do also do that kind of testing right now. So with people in Asia and, and yeah. China. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. This was really yeah. great. The game is awesome. Coming out spring 2018. Uh, definitely, definitely go check it out. And they're putting a lot of a lot of effort. It's a small team with a lot of passion. So I can't wait to get my hands on this and actually play the whole thing. Absolutely. Thank you so much for playing. Great. So that does it for this interview. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Fuse Man. I'm signing out. Bye.